Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I'm not praying. We are here to say final farewell to our dear Mother Teresa. As one thing. <coughs> the Bible says to everything there's a season and there's a time. There's a time to be born and there's a time to die. But we don't have a time to live. Every second is a blessing. I woke with him re, I woke with him re. In him re, it's never a sin. Would that not sorry? No, I didn't mean to say. Amen. I'd be so from four months from within. Pastor Kinsley or her. We are so full now. Her, we be trying to carry on. Now say, am I you are seeing in every room? Be a costume. You are welcome at the tea crib and some funeral. We are here just for an hour. So everything that's happening can be short. Because after this, another funeral here. After here, we go to City of London uh, Cemetery for the committal. And on Saturday, there will be a celebration of her life at Broughter Farm Community Centre. I hand over to Pastor Kinsley to lead us. Shall we be on our feet, please? Yeah, right, my God. we thank you we glorify your name our beginning shall be the name of the father the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. thank you Can, let's stand up and, sing, and sing, continue to sing to god be the glory greetings he has done so love ye the word that he gave us his son. Oh, yeah, that is right and are to men for sin and open the life gates that are Praise the Lord. Everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou art, thou dost 
Dull turn man black back into dust, and dust say, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in thy sight. Are like yesterday when it passes by, or as we watch in the night. Thou hast swept them away like a flood, they fall asleep. In the morning they are like grass, with sprouts anew. In the morning it flourishes and it sprouts anew. Towards evening it fades and withers away. For we have been consumed by thy anger, and by the wrath we have been dismayed. Thou hast blessed our equities before thy. Our secret sins in the night of thy presence, for all our days have been declined in thy fury. We have finished our years like a sign. As for, as for the days of our life, they contain 70 years. Or if due to strength, 80 years. Yet thy pride is but labour and sorrow. For soon it is gone and we fly away. Who understands the power of thy anger and thy fury according to the fear of this? Of that is thy day. So teach us to number our days, that we may that we may present to thee the heart of wisdom. Amen. Amen. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Amen. The prayer of Moses in the time of crisis, and Moses prayed this prayer, and people misquote it and say God has given the seventy years. No, Moses even was one twenty years. It was during the pandemic. Teachers to number our days. I read my young who ye naka, the young Sahama. So, whom so china, who knew we are here, you apply with them. Amen. Amen. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine. Year of salvation, purchase of gold. One of his days, in his blood. This is my story. This is my story. This is my song. I am I'm praising my Savior. All day. what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to embrace and a time to shine embracing, a time to search and a time to give up as lost. A time to keep and a time to, to throw away. <laughs> a time to tear apart and a time to steal together. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. What, prom what profit is there? to the worker from that is which 
in toll. I have seen the tax which God has given the sons of men with which to occupy themselves <coughs> in his time in their hearts so that man will not find out so that man will not find out the work which God has done from the beginning even to the end. I know that there is nothing better for them than to rejoice and to do good in one's lifetime. Number 13. Moreover, that every man who eats and drinks of God. Amen. Thank you. If you are able to eat and drink, it's a gift of God. Amen. This, the wisest king, King Solomon, who wrote this. There's a time limit on your life. A time to laugh, a time to be angry, a time to be born, and a time to die. So we don't waste time. Amen. Amen. Guide me, O the great Jehovah. Lead me through this barren land. I am weak by the I'm here to share a bit of Teresa's story, a life story with you. Teresa was born June 23, 1963, in Kumasi, and was traditionally Christian, Amampo. I and mean, this is a name that the people who are very close to her may be very familiar with. She had a basic education in Kumasi. Her great passion for stenography led her to pursue further education at the Peters Educational Center, one of the topmost secretarial schools in Kumasi at that time. Teresa, together with her junior siblings, Juliet and Pedro, and their mom, Madame Grace Adwetheria, who is also deceased, migrated, should I say, to Accra, where Teresa continued with her educational and life skill acquisition. Like a great grandmother, you know, Abina Fraso of Guabasa Royal family, who bravely relocated from the family royal home at Akromase to Kassem in pursuance of new life experiences, there is that also made a life changing decision and moved to the United Kingdom in 1985. 
she embraced the opportunities and challenges that that came with living in a new country. With hard work and determination, she built a successful life for herself and her family. She always provided the family with a loving and a supportive environment. Her visits to her family home in Ghana was an annual ritual until she was struck by ill health. Her generosity knew no bounds. Mama Test, as she was popularly known, was one person who hardly missed out on any social event, particularly at the Bradwater Farm community, a place where she spent almost her entire life in the UK. Her friends virtually became a family. Her journey from Kumasi to Accra and then to United Kingdom is evidence of her courage and determination. These qualities were greatly on display, even on her sick bed. Teresa's life is an inspiration to those who believe in hard work and perseverance. She left behind three children, Wendy Williams, Prince Afo, and Kibel Afo and also had two grandchildren, Elkana and Melody. Today we have before us the mortal remains of our beloved Teresa. And with a heavy heart, we bid her farewell. Then we said, are you coming back? You will forever be in our memory. Till we meet again, rest well. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Let us all stand up a minute, silence, in memory. Captain of Israel host and guide, all for who see the land above be him that shall we abide the clouds of thy protection.
as I say my final goodbye to you all. Everyone says their mom is the best, but you were the best example to me. You were more than just a mother. You were the guiding light, the pillar of strength. You were my hope, my best friend, my gossip partner, my secret chef. I would always call you for tips on cooking or if I was in the market and I needed your guidance. You would be away to call away. You have been by my side since the day I was born. Through all my struggles and my hurdles in my life and celebrated with me all my joyful moments. On the 29th of December, 2023, I held your lifeless body in my arms and everything I had was over. Death took you away from me. If I stand here and say all the things you've done for me in my life, I would leave here an old woman because you were more you was an outstanding mother. But let me start by saying thank you for all the support and the love you showed me, your daughter. Thank you for the knowledge and wisdom you sponged into me and the life lessons I have learned from you. Thank you for throwing a birthday party for me every year until I became too long. I wanted to go with my friends instead. Thank you for every sacrifice you made, which is a testament of your unwavering devotion to me. You love, your love was a beacon of hope that guided me through life's challenges and inspired everywhere in my heart. From your darling, from your daughter of my Wendy. Death is for us all. I knew this day would come, but not just at this moment, of time. My mother had a beautiful soul. She was loving, caring. So humble and understanding. To the world, you were just a person. To me, you were the world. Although we didn't have everything, it felt like we always had the best of everything. Half of me is lost. Words couldn't explain, especially the fact that we share the same birthday. Couldn't be more thankful. I know you're up there watching us. You were never afraid to be my mother, to put your foot down, to teach me right from wrong, and to make sure I did my best. You always let me know I had a mama who cared about me. You believed in me. You was there for me no matter what, even at my grown age. I know there will be no love again, like a motherly from you, motherly love from you. Sleeping heavily, peace, mom. Till we meet again, that year. My goodbye letter to you. I never thought I'd be writing this. I never thought I'd be writing about you in the past. Two months later, and it still feels weird. And it still hurts my heart because you're really not here. It still doesn't feel real. It's like I'm dreaming. And to be honest, I really wish I was. 
Every time I think about you, my heart sinks. My tears stream down my face. It pains me so much because you have no idea how much you meant to me. How much love I have for you. And if I'm being honest, I'm scared because I'm scared because I know now I have to live my entire life without you being present. But now you're with God and you're turned into an angel. And I know your spirit will protect me throughout my journey in this life. Whenever I close my eyes and I think about you, I have a memory of you teaching me how to ride a bike. It may sound small for others, but to me, it meant so much. I remember you cheering for me, shouting my name, like you was my biggest fan. It's like my life felt complete and you were so happy and filled with joy, and so was I. It was a perfect mom and son moment. One thing I can really say about you, one thing I can say about you is that you really did try your best to live a happy life for us. And despite the circumstances you were facing, you were a fighter, a cons considerate, kind, loving, clean-hearted, and an amazing woman with an amazing soul, and a real definition of what a mother should be. You also lived a good life. Blessing me with two great siblings. <laughs> oh, shut and hold. Your hand tied you. Give you the biggest hug. Tell you that I love you repeatedly. Spend time with you consistently. Just to talk to you more about my day or my problems. But I no longer can do any of those things anymore. Instead, all I can say is how much I miss you and, I, and how I wish you were still here. Which still hurts a lot. Sometimes when my phone vibrates or I knock on the door, I just wish it was you. Because although I should have been checking on you more, you're the one that I'm checking on me the most. Mm. Mm. However, this isn't a goodbye letter to you. But this is also a thank you letter. My first and last letter to you. So I want to say thank you for loving me. Thank you for showing up for me all the time. Putting a roof over my head. Food on our plates for me and my siblings to eat. Clothes on my back. Teaching me real life lessons, teaching me real lessons in life because your life struggles became my life lessons. And, and last but not least, thank you for being the best mom I could ever ask for. You made so many sacrifices for me, for us, let alone me. And I'll never forget that. It's going to be difficult to get used to the fact that you're no longer here with us. And you're no longer here anymore. And my life will change forever. And I'll never be the same. <coughs> but I write this knowing, uh, at least I write this knowing you're at peace, resting, just resting, enjoying yourself in the promised land of grandma. Because out of everyone I know, you deserve it the most. You may be gone, but you are most definitely not forgotten. I will grow up and get older and have children and they will know everything about you. But I will always, I will forever always be your catch, catcher. Rest in peace, mom. I love you. From your younger son, Kabbalah. Thank you.
now believe that I'm right with this, knowing that this will be my final goodbye. My baby sister and I can only hold on to the memories that we share. My grandma always made me feel special. She would always take me to the shop to buy me whatever I wanted after school, like sweets, toys, food, clothes, and more. I still can't believe that she's gone. I'm gonna miss her and I'm gonna miss her so much as my grand as my grandma was special to me. We love and appreciate her care and love for us. Her memories will live with us forever. I know I know wherever she is, she will continue to guide us as I know that she is in a dark place. Grandma, until we meet again, my baby sister and I will know that we have lost you as a grandma but gave the angel over an angel watching over us. We love you dearly, grandma. Continue to rest in peace. Be still and know that I'm your goal. Be still and know. Ten games here, Nana, the database, and the rest from other final directors. They didn't mean to die. There was no any warning. We didn't understand any about the COVID. We were just sitting on the television and hearing about who, who man, who won, uh, knockdown. We didn't understand what about knockdown and everything. And here the COVID, COVID came and destroyed us. Hebrew chapter 2. Says, verse 1, for this reason we must pay made closer attention to what we have heard, lest we drift away from it, the things that have been heard. For if the word spoken through angels proved unutterable, and every transgression and disobedience received a just recompense, how shall we escape? if we neglect so great a salvation. After it was at the first spoken through the Lord, it was confirmed to us by those who heard. Uh, Paul was writing to the Hebrews, to the, the, the Hebrews assembly or community. I was telling them, the angels, the prophets have come to share everything. And are we believing it? Are we accepting it? How can we escape if we neglect such a great salvation? Getting to the statistics of those who have passed away, they were not even That's why the statistics I was showing, I was writing down Antimony, Kabaida, everything. I've been seeing all these people just within a triple of eyes. Come on. Come on, you never go. I just said, you And they're telling that. She said yes. Of her life. <coughs> and now for Mary. Mary, Mary. Oh, she's a Mary. Beautiful. Mary. Oh. When you look at the posters and everything, what lessons are we learning? 
There was a young lady there going to work just on January 24th. It's from Fumantana, and I know such a uh, niece. She just felt dizzy and sat at the restaurant. Before they called the ambulance, she was gone. The two, they are taking the two months before even we located her body. That is real. But what lesson? When you go to Hebrew chapter 11, verse 13, the Bible says they all died without even receiving the best thing. But they were re looking for a city with maker or builder a God. What would you know we? We are the most Christian, we are the most miserable. Where is Abraham? Where is the Moses to be alive? Hannah has to cry for uh, somewhere to be uh, the best prophet. Even Jesus Christ, the one that married, was keeping everything safe. When we celebrate Mother's Day, what, as a mother, what have you done? Raining curses on your children. <coughs> are you a mother? My mother looked at me. I was in second days, so I don't pay school fees. That's why I put my mom. The mom gave me pay school fees. So I did not do it. <coughs> when I drink a petition, my mom would say, come and carry me. I did that sweet mother. What a sermon do you have for me? As when he was reading, he said the mother was everything. Anyway, the you owe me one pound, one pound, okay? <laughs> All the brought guests and brought a farm. I'm going to pay my one pound. So now, death is not evil. Whatever you talk about, it's gone. But you, you don't know. Some of us, we don't discover our bodies. If you went during the COVID, you are not allowed to go near the body. When the COVID started, there's somebody called me that he has a, uh, the brother died in Southeast. And I called back and said, the government said we don't go out. My age, <laughs> my wife. Somebody called me from Mitchell. Oh, you know this guy? You know? I said, you see, the government, the government said we don't drive across, across borders. I was finding where to dodge when I was afraid of COVID. But however, everything, we are going to die one day. So today, as we are saying farewell to this beautiful day, to people on Lebanon Brota Farm, let's go to the data I'm putting all the names down. And that's where we are, where are they? Say what was you call me the song? Say what was very nicely. You know what they say. But one day we are going to say this is called universal death. Universal death will come to you, it will come to you. <coughs> but the most important death is spiritual death. If you are here and you don't know you are maker, you are spiritual what? Because let's pray, you say you pray. Do you know the maker? You don't know your maker. And if you don't change today, there's going to be uh, uh, eternal death. Revelation chapter 20 says, I saw somebody sitting at the white, great white throne, and the book of life was being opened. Are you getting your name written in the book of life? To everything, there's a season and there's a time. The only time that we don't have. You have a time to talk about somebody. You have a time to destroy somebody. But you don't have time to find your God. And the Lord bless you as your eyes open today. Teresa has gone so that you can change, make a change. Hallelujah. Amen. I give all the glory. As you go to the cemetery, go to the hillside, let us meditate. Mama loved the husband. My dear sister from Congo loved the husband. Yes. Yes. They are all here. Death is eating every corner. But what time? Oh you, you don't know your time. And you know when you are going to end your time. May the Lord bless you so that today, take your life and change. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Before we <laughs> uh, we are collecting offering for the chat uh, the office and uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
recently in Ghana, and I heard that the family have grown um, uh, autistic children away into the river because they are from river. It's all things are happening. We need to support ourselves. When we when we walk with the Lord in the light of His world, what a glory He says on our way. What we do is good work. <laughs> Let's also pray for the children and the entire family. Just remember them in prayers at this very difficult time. Father in heaven, we thank you for today as you are called your daughter. Today we are here to thank God for her life. The number of years you gave her, the family she was born into, the children that she was able to bring to this world, the grandchildren, the friends, the loved ones, the entire community. Father, we are celebrating her at this time. And as we prepare to take her, to her final resting place. We give you the glory that through Teresa death, let there be life. Those who don't know Christ will come to know Christ. Amen. Father, we thank God for the video now saying, we thank God for the funeral directors, T. Chris and some funeral. And we thank God for each and every one who have made this place today. And even those who are watching it globally. We pray for the Saturday celebration on Broadwater Farm. Lord, let her day bring a revival into our life. Amen. And let your name be glorified. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. From here, we'll be going to City of Lending Cemetery. <coughs> that is near uh, Odin Road. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and we are waiting for the horses. But what we are going to do is that now we are going to fire past the body. Yeah, that's we think it. And from the bus, you will come and walk past the body. You are going to casket. A casket, then you leave here. Then you go out. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. Please, you can come from the park and then you might pass the... Uh, you pass here, then you walk to... From the back. 
Oh, okay. within the vicinity of the building for the time being and then we'll be ready and then we'll see you out on the roadside shortly. Just be aware folks there is another funeral being prepared outside. Let them go and then we'll have our place. Are you Yeah you can see it here. Thank <laughs> you. 
over at the arm ready. So we're going to do what we're going to do. Remain here for the moment. I just want that funeral to disappear. And then we've got our own space. And I'll come and get you bring the car around and get back in the car around, okay? You'll see her in the horse carriage just at the back right now. Push my baby friend up on you, sir. Thank you. 